The Dental Brief is brought to you by Omni Premier Marketing and the amazing guests who bring wisdom and advice that you can put to use to take your business and practices to the next level. Find us on Facebook and join the conversation. Get ready to grow because we are kicking off the next episode in three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Dental Brief. So excited for today's guest, today's program. As always, it's going to be fast to the point, exciting, gets you the information that you need, gets you busy with your day. So without further ado, Tiger Safaroff, say hello. Hey, Patrick. Hey, so glad to have you here. No, we're running a little bit late this morning, and I apologize for that. Let's just jump right in, Tiger. Tell us, uh, how'd you get involved in the industry? How'd you start working with dentists? Uh, It's by accident. I was in college trying to get a job. It was 2008, and I was taking civil architectural engineering courses, and I told my professor that one day I would like to start a business, and he said, you'll be dumb if you start a business. I thought he was questioning my abilities, but he actually knew that economy is going to go down in 2008, but I didn't understand back then. And I started my own construction management firm. And that's how I got into the dental. Like within a year, I got introduced to dentist and I was the youngest and I was the cheapest. And that's how I got my first dental practice and I built it. And then I decided that that's all I'm going to do is build dental practices moving forward. And that led me to build the business, sell the business in 2014. And then 2015, I had an idea with my good friend, Scott, Dr. Scott Goldman, that we need to organize inventory. So him and I play with it a little bit. And then in 2016, we launched Zen Supplies. Awesome. So I, I know you've had a, a lot of fun with Zen Supplies and helping Dennis with that. But you got a new venture that we're going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Um, before we jump into what Zen One is all about, first tell me, what are, what are the problems that Dennis have been facing that made you start this new company, Zen One? So tell me, what are the challenges uh, that you're helping them solve. Yeah, you know, I judge problems by the conversation of, with, you know, with a beer. So when you grab beers with your friends, and that's when the real problems are, right? So like nobody's sure. going to complain about some boxes not arriving or, or you know, some stuff. But like people talk about payroll, people talk about business issues and challenges. And it just, you know, when I sold my business, I knew I'm going to do something in dentistry. And I just kept meeting with my friends. I didn't have a goal. I didn't know. I had some inkling on the inventory side with implants in 2013. I put it aside. But then I thought, you know, I would just meet people. And I would just talk and we'll figure out what's going on, what problems people have. And I, I'm, I'm really good at listening. And I think that's my only skill that I bring to the table is just ability to listen and dissect and try to understand what the problem is. And the rest I need my team for. And so... I just kept listening, taking notes, and everybody complained about inventory. Everybody complained about that they're running out of product. And so I would sit down with with one of my friends, and they're like, can you believe it? We run out of lidocaine today. Or can you believe it? I didn't have an implant, and I couldn't do my case. And it just resonates because you not only you lose revenue, but you lose credibility. And so I started digging into this, and... I told my friend, Scott, who I mentioned before, I said, hey, do you mind if I wear scrubs and I go to your office for a week? He's like, sure. It's a dumb request, but why not? So I went in and spent a week and I I just noticed that his assistants were placing orders on a yellow sticky notes. And so when we launched in 2016, would people ask me, who's your biggest competitor? I would say 3M because of their sticky notes, right? So I would compete with sticky notes. And, and that's the, that was the, 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 the whole idea is you have so much volume that you purchase, right? A typical office would, would spend sixty to a hundred thousand dollars a year on supplies. It's a huge budget. And we trust that budget to a dental assistant who may not even know how to do, deal with that, right? They don't have an exposure to, to dealing and managing with that kind of stuff. And at the same time, they don't have time. It's not their main priority. And so we thought about how do you organize everything in one place? How do you have the budget? How do you make it easy? How do you make it that it's not an extra step for people, but it actually eliminates two to three steps? And that's how we started. And that's how we looked at the problem. Yeah, it makes sense. And that that's a problem that you talked about is, is real. I've definitely heard from multiple dentists when they're calling the dentist closest to them down the road, trying to get a product for them that they're out of stock with, or they need something or what have you. Right. So it's pretty, pretty legitimate and it's, it's, it's not fun, right? It's definitely and, a terrible thing. So go ahead. 
Yeah, my biggest example is that we have an office in in Waco, Texas, Acrewood Dental, and it's it's not a problem until it's a problem, right? And so, doctor, just literally, it was a demo schedule. He signed up in 2018 or 19. I think it was 18. I get in a demo, and it's the doctor with his assistant. We do the demo, and in the middle of the demo, he's like, "I'll go get my credit card. We're ready to sign up." And I'm kind of used to doing the demos and then people need to think about it. I was like, what? Like, yeah. Dr. Johnson, what happened? And he said, look, this morning I went to do a procedure and we didn't have this material. He's like, and I can be yelling right now and screaming. And my assistant is here. She's next to me. But it's my job and it's my fault. So I want to solve it today. Let's go. And I was, it was wow to me, you know, like, so again, it's, it's not a problem until it's a problem. Yeah. So I know Zen One is, is launching here. Tell me, how does Zen One solve these problems? How's it going to help? Yeah. So I think when we launched Zen Supplies, we, I mean, I was dumb and naive, right? So I always tell people that I'm the least qualified to, to do what I did back in 2016. We didn't know the difference between products and manufacturers and distributors and house brands and all of it, right? And, and at the same time, what we later realized that the emerging sector of DSOs, right? So, but we built one product. We would sell our product to the DSOs, to private offices, to the private DSOs, right? The doctors that 100% owned five or six or seven locations. And then later on, like around 2019, we started picking up on these trends of DSOs need different tools. Private practices need different tools, right? And my passion, my heart, and I think the, the unique ability of my team is working with private practices. And so essentially what we decided to do is go to all of our private practices. And I travel a lot. Like you can probably see on my LinkedIn, I've been to at least 200 offices in the last four or five years, right? And I'm known for getting in a car and just driving for hours to see a customer for 18 minutes to get the feedback and then and then go back. And so we've collected so much feedback and we realized that the DSO market is overcrowded, right? So right now I have many, many competitors working with the DSOs. But we decided to go and build a product for private practices. And it's a completely different set of tools, completely different set of needs. You're talking to different people, different end users, and so our goal is now focus 100% with a new product on private practices. It doesn't mean that we won't, we won't work with the DSOs. If they want to sign up and use the product, that's phenomenal. But what we're building and what our priority is and the way we even structure our customer advisory boards, it is private practices. It's the dental assistance within private practices, and we're building the tools for them and enhance the focus for Zen One to be in the private practices. Yeah, so give us the 40,000 foot view. What do these tools look like? What do they do? So, so first of all, we built the product that eliminates all the setups and trainings, right? So it's funny when, when I do the demos and people ask me, do you have a setup fee? I said, we don't. In Zen Supplies, our old product, we used to charge setup fees and I hated it because essentially you're paying someone a setup fee for the poorly designed software that now you need to train people how to use it. Right. Sure. We all use Gmail. We all use Facebook. We all use Instagram. All these platforms are fairly complex, but we don't pay anybody to do the trainings. And so that was our first thing that we said, if we would build a new product, how do we build it so easy that Susan out of, you know, Beacon Dentistry can go in and sign up and start using the product within minutes. And that was our first goal, right? So get that simplicity of the product. The second is, is, it's basically around organization, right? How do we organize the products? How do we organize inventories, customize things? You know, people, our offices, they love to organize stuff and customize things. So they would go in, they will change the image. They will create their own product custom names. They will organize their shopping list. They will say, this shopping list is going to be auto ship, throw 10 items in it, and then schedule for auto ship to go out once a month on a Tuesday, 5 p.m. Right. So things like that, we decided that are going to take a more priority. Then we also keep track of the expenses. We keep track of their budgets. We keep track of how much they spend. We've noticed that with a lot of dealers, people don't break down their invoices. They would get an invoice 
and it's five thousand dollar invoice. But in reality, it's thirty five hundred dollars for supplies and and a thousand for uh, technician and five hundred dollars for parts, right? So real budget for supplies is thirty five hundred dollars, not five thousand. And so we're organizing all that and helping them streamline their expenses as well. So that's like a forty thousand sure, view of, of the tools that's needed for a private practice. Sure. Now, is there a way that dentists can save money on their supplies in this product too? Of course, yeah. Saving money is 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 a is the first thing that people would ask, but that's not how how we make them stay. So, yeah, that's terrific. So, if they want to learn more about this, um, learn more about your company and you. Where, where's the best place to go? I would say Zen1.com, but we're pretty active on our LinkedIn page. We have a podcast called Zen One Podcast. We we share a lot of information. And then our YouTube channel will share a lot of information as well. But I would say zen1.com is, is a good place to go. Awesome. Tiger, thanks so much for coming on and sharing with us today. We, we really appreciate your time. Thanks for the opportunity, Patrick. I really appreciate it.